Hi, I'm Nyx Eradicatus, and this is a prosperity spell from Michael Park, Dark Artist. And I'm Reverend Panic of Lynn Bedlam, and I'll be assisting. Welcome. We are preparing to do a prosperity spell. The spell was requested from me by my friend Michael Park, who I've known since... I've known of him since middle school, but I've known and known him since high school. Uh, he's moving into a new phase of his life. He recently acquired a new job, which was uh, his initial impetus for requesting this spell. So we're going to continue on doing this prosperity spell. I know he has a specific apartment in mind, which I've seen photographs of, and I will be keeping it in mind when we're working the spell, you know, to help, uh, you know, the law of attraction bring that into his life, along with continuing to move up with his professional aspirations, general prosperity, finding luck, finding money, finding even better financial opportunities. Health and wealth. Health and wealth. Before we get started, I'm going to, to pour us a glass of this pumpkin cider that I found at Aldi's. This is not a sponsored video. They didn't pay me. Though they are this. unionized, and I support that. I definitely support, yes, Aldi's unionization. But uh, no, they didn't pay me to, to buy this. I just figured, you know, it's fall time now, yeah. getting into the pumpkin-y stuff. Feels a little, feels very Harry Potter-ish, you know, the pumpkin juice thing. I thought it would be kind of fun. Ooh, can you see the mist rising? Yeah. It's nice. It was a very satisfying pop. I wasn't surprised. Yeah, I was really shocked by it. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that satisfying pop. Let's see. But um, oh. Partake. This is non-alcoholic, by the way. Not to say there isn't alcohol involved in this situation, but it's not in that bottle. Salute. Skull. Cheers. That has an interesting taste. Cinnamon -y. Yeah. A lot more orangey than you'd expect for a cider. Yeah. Very herbaceous. That's a good word. I like that. It's pretty good. Um, so, so speaking of herbaceous, what sort of herbs are we going to be using for this? Because well, you're an herb master. I am. Um, a lot of different herbs can be used for prosperity spells. It's one of the most common spells I want to be done. And there's as many different herbs you can use for it as there are people who are going to request this kind of spell. Today, I'm primarily going to use bay leaves, juniper berries, all spice berries, and I actually just have some common lentils I'm going to use as well. One of the ways to make sure that a spell of any type goes well is to make sure both the time and space is pronounced as sacred. So, you have a bell there. You ring that at the beginning three times. So, shall we? Just like class. Then you want to uh, prepare the space by casting a circle, which, since we're doing this video in MySpace, I'll prepare the circle. So, now that we're in the sacred space and the sacred time, we are ready to prepare your spell. So, what sort of components are we going with? Well, this one's a no-brainer when you go seek incense. Most spells, um, classically, use a, an incense that's appropriate for the spell. I went with this. This is Fortune Incense by a company, it looks like it's called Satya. I'm mostly familiar with this company. They make company. the Nag Champa, yeah. They, yeah, they make, make the Nag Champa, probably the best fragrance of Nag Champa. And uh, they also make this nifty fortune incense. I think you can probably find this at um, your local Whole Foods store or a head shop where uh, paraphernalia for smoking certain herbs is sold. They often have an incense section. That's usually where I find this type of incense. I'm not going to light it until we're ready to uh, actually do the spell. 
but that is what I'm using. I also purchased this candle. I think this is just a it's a scented candle of like a like forest scents or something. I got this at my uh, local Whole Foods store, and uh, it's a green candle, which you can imagine with the association there it is green money. Prosperity in nature. That's Good what the correspondence is. Yes. We also uh, live in a pine foresty place, so yeah. we're sending a little bit of uh, the sacredness of where we live. Indeed. Another item I have here. This is a piece of raw citrine. Um, I'm not using raw specifically for any reason other than I'm not a person of uh, large financial means, and I found this at a local fair for only $3. It's a citrine geode. Citrine is often used in prosperity cells. Citrine crystal. The meaning of the name citrine crystal comes from the Greek word meaning citron, as many early citrine crystals found had a color similar to the citrus fruit of that name. The citrine properties that are most well known are its value for aiding manifestation of prosperity, particularly if you combine it with the power of affirmations. The first herb that I have to show, these are juniper berries. Juniper, juniper. Juniper berries. Juniper berries are associated with Jupiter. The berries of the juniper tree are said to attract luck, good fortune, and business success. Juniper berries. I have also allspice berries. To fill in for any spices we're missing all of the spice. Allspice. Allspice can be carried on the person or burned as incense or sprinkled in the four corners of the house. Yeah. This is what you want to put in your meat. What else do I have? Oh, I have my common lentils. Lentils. Lentils bring peace and financial security. But these are common lentils. They have a magical use too, even though they're most often found in, you know, soup that grandma probably makes. But a lot of magical ingredients are. The idea of any sort of grain or bean, something that would be a corner staple, usually is a uh, symbol of fertility in most cultures, which they are the most common. Um, the idea of a good harvest and prosperity is usually attached to that, which is why things like grain and its derivatives uh, were so sacred in the Greek mystery societies. Persephone had a lot, the myth had a lot to do with planting grain, and that has to do with Dionysus for making beer and wine and such, and Repugnus also was the beer god, because Dionysus is wine, Repugnus, and Repugnia do beer. It's where we get the word repugnant, because uh, they weren't you know, the nicest of folks. <laughs> you you can go usually go out after a football game and see a lot of repugnias and repugnians. Yeah. Repugnians. Yeah. Uh, there's someone outside the window just a few minutes ago. Repugnians. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Pelvic towns. These are bay leaves. Bay leaves. Bay leaves increase intuition, and they're good if you're looking for a promotion or a job. You can tuck some under your mattress or boil them and sprinkle the water around your home. These are hallucinogenic, so keep this in mind if you choose to burn these. I always like how like weirdly hard they always are. They're very crumply, very papery, parchment. Now, I've seen it written that if burned, these will produce a hallucinogenic effect. Oh I, no! I don't know if that's true. It might be. These are also used in cooking, but they're used in a lot of spells. A lot of time you'll write um, a spell on the leaf and then burn it. Oh yeah, like the, uh, like the Sibyls in Rome, I think. Mm -hmm. They'd write things on uh, oak leaves with charcoal. It smells good when it's burned. Oh yeah! Oh, that's really good. I won't put this one back in the jar, I'll put it back in the jar. I like that smell. Yeah. I'd make an instance out of that. I smell it already. It's the smell of success. I feel more successful already. Look at me, I'm drinking coffee. 
I that must be the Mike's future is so bright. I really need shades. <sighs> it doesn't taste strong, but it smells strong. It stings the nostrils. Poetic take. take. It tastes like a typo negative song. <laughs> it is so fun. Another ingredient that I have is this quarter. This is a silver quarter. This is a pre-1964 quarter, which means that it's solid silver. Uh, and this is going to be a focal point in the, in the charm that I'm making during the course of this spell. Basically because it's pure silver and it's US currency, mm -hmm. it's going to be you know a prime focal point of the achieving money part of this prosperity spell. I love my silver quarters. I'm sacrificing the silver quarter to this spell. I might better appreciate this. The last ingredient is this pouch. It doesn't have any magical significance other than the fact that it's green, but it's going to fold the ingredients that I'm using over the course of this spell. Basically, I act as a mojo bag. Mike can carry on him. Yeah, he could potentially, you know, as time goes on, just take the coin out and keep this on as, as a lucky coin if you didn't want to carry the herbs. Although, I don't know why you wouldn't want to, they smell terrific. Alright, I'm now going to light the candle and place it on the stone. Evie has lovingly provided to me. Ah. You should light the incense. Oh, it smells so good. It really does. <laughs> it does. I like it. Everything smells good. It smells wonderful in here. I wish you were here. All right. I'm going to ceremonial put my herbs. Ceremony. I'm going to ceremonial put my herbs in here. In case anyone is wondering what I'm doing, I'm just trying to concentrate and focus. One soul's fire to bring another's heart's desire, that he should rise above failure's pyre and set his potential free. As kudzu grows, as a hurricane blows, as doth fall the night with inky might, from gentle shower to will's full power, come bring the rain, from my refrain, pull up the grain, now make it rain. Lightning in a bottle, storm in a teacup, something looming this way comes. From gentle shower to will's full power, come bring the rain from my refrain. Pull up the grain, now make it rain. So mode it be, Shampembra. I'll also be doing some additional concentration and spell work later when I'm not filming, as needs be for things that are spiritual. But you get a basic idea of sort of uh, my mode of doing spells, which is fairly informal, but that's not to say that it isn't uh, very focused and real. I just I have a more off the hip style. But I'm going to be taking these herbs, I'm going to put it in the pouch. I'm probably going to make a huge mess while I do it. You know, magic's messy. As is life. Eight. 
and the silver horn. Feels lucky and luckier in here already. So this is the pouch. Uh, if you're familiar at all with hoodoo, you probably have heard this referred to as a mojo pouch, or even a. I think another word for this might be grizz grizz, although that. I don't know about that one. Yeah, I'll trust you though. This is going to be sent on to Michael. To, to carry on him. So that was a very simple prosperity spell. Hope you enjoyed watching us do it. There is a little bit more to it than what you're going to see on camera. Well, thank you for joining us for this spell. I'm sure there will be more in the future. If more you, more like more future events like this in the future. Future events <laughs> such as these are sure to affect you in the future. That's Criswell. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more of this stuff, please comment below. And as always, like and also subscribe. Both good you, ideas. You'll never know when gonna miss if you don't. We should do some close-up shots of this in okay. your cut and then I can maybe we can do some no, that's a good idea. Future us, do that. <laughs>